Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get a screen locker on a minimal Arch Linux window manager only setup like the one you can see here with which is DWM. So we're going to use an application uh, developed by the Suckless devs called SLock and if you're on Arch Linux you can simply install it using sudo pacman s SLock. And I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. But if you're in Arch Linux, you can get it from here. If you're not on Arch Linux, you can still get S logs. You can either check the repositories of your uh, whatever Linux distribution you're using, but you can also get the source code from suckless.org directly. And you will find it under Tools and then S log. And you just have to copy this command here uh, to clone the SLOG repo and paste it into the terminal. And I've already got it there. Uh, once you've cloned this, you go under change directory to SLOG and then you can type in make and then sudo make install. I'm not going to install it because I've already installed it using Pacman and doing this might break my current installation. So I'm not going to do it. So now let's have a look at the manual for SLOG. It's really, really simple to use, actually. So SLOG, uh, the usage is just SLOG, and then you can pass it a command afterwards. And this command is executed after the screen has been locked. So if you're interested in running any command after screen locking, you can do so using SLOG as well. But standard usage, you just type in SLOG. And all it's going to do, it's going to lock your X session and it's going to put you on a blue screen and you have to type in your password to get out. If you type in your wrong password, then the screen will turn red. And I'm going to show you what I mean now. So let's type in SLOG. And we're on a blue screen now. If I type in the wrong password, it turns red and you can't unlock it unless you type in your password. So if I type in my password correctly, it would just get back straight to our X session. So this is very similar to something you would get with a display manager, but it's much more lightweight. And it's also a lot faster to unlock and lock your screen. But while this is useful, if you're just going away, you can bind it to a hotkey. Um, it would be pretty nice if we could automatically start SLOG once our computer goes to sleep. And there is a really easy way to set this up. So we have to set up a systemd unit and we can do that by using sudo vim slash etc slash systemd slash system and then SLOG at dot service. And I've already set up the systemd unit. So this is just a description. It's getting executed after sleep.target. The user is just i, so that's whatever you pass after the add when you enable SLOG. And you'll see what I mean uh, very soon. We want to lock um, this display. And by the way, I found, I found this on uh, the Arch Wiki if you're interested. So. Uh, this basically forces your computer to suspend when it goes to sleep and it should be enabled by default but on the arch wiki this line is still in the unit file and basically when a computer goes to sleep you want to execute slock to lock your screen and it's wanted by sleep.target so whenever your computer goes to sleep xorg is going to send a sleep signal to systemd is going to catch that signal and it's going to execute slock and that's what it's going to do so you, once you've set up this unit file, uh, you have to type in sudo systemctl enable slog add your username, in my case that's mario, dot service. And I've already enabled it, so it's not going to give me a message, but if you haven't enabled it, it should show something like symlink for slog at mario dot service created. And we can also start it. And this is going to start SLOG automatically, so I wouldn't do that. Um, once you've enabled it, it's going to execute automatically after your computer goes to sleep. You might have to reboot before that, but it should work straight out of the box. But if we start it, it's just going to execute SLOG immediately, so we actually don't want that. 
and we're back on the blue screen. I can type in my password to get out. That was the wrong password. And now we're back to our X session. So there is one final thing that I want to show you that I haven't set up because for me it seems to work out of the box. But the suckless devs recommend that you add these four lines to the end of your xorg.com file. And all these four lines do basically is they prevent your user when the screen is locked to switch to a virtual terminal. Um, so this is basically whenever, before you log into your X session, if you don't have a display manager, you're going to lo be locked into a VT and you can switch to a VT using either Alt or Control Alt and then your function keys at the top of your keyboard. And there, there should be about eight virtual terminals on your system automatically running and you can switch with the function keys and you want to prevent that if you're uh, in S-Log. The other thing, uh, this don't zap is going to prevent uh, the users from killing the X session using Control Alt Backspace. And this also doesn't work on my system, so I'm not too worried about that. But if you are worried about that, you can add these four lines to the end of your xorg.conf and it's going to prevent your user from kill, either killing the X session or dropping to another virtual terminal. So this is how you set up S-Log on a minimal window manager only setup. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please drop a comment below, hit the like button and the subscribe button and see you next time.